All right, guys. The 100th video for cows. And so now we are in like the three digit mark of the daily videos, 100. And now I had a, a question from one of my cousins who probably didn't watch the, uh, the prequel to my daily vlog uh, adventure. And he was wondering why I'm doing this. And the reason why was that I challenged myself to do a daily video. I had made a time capsule and one of the challenges that a younger version of myself challenged me to do was do a daily video. My younger self had no idea that I would be moving out of state, had no idea I'd be getting married, had no idea I'd be leaving my family. So him challenging me to do this, this video uh, was really good for my family because they don't get to see me every day like they used to, but technically they still can. And the he's back uh, part of the title of this video is reference to the guy that inspired this whole thing being back on YouTube. He's vlogging. Uh, he's had like a lot of controversial stuff going on, like a lot of heavy stuff. And But he's back now vlogging with his family. And I'm playing the best for him, but he did make some stupid mistakes and just like hurt a lot of people. But hopefully, Lord willing, he'll be all right. I'm, you know, I'm praying for him and his family especially. And so he he inspired this whole thing because that's kind of like what he did when he was like he had, like challenged himself to do a daily video uh, to capture the last year of he being in his twenties. Uh, and so, that's how I was inspired with the idea. And some of his little phrases and stuff will sometimes pop up like, Hey, I'm vlogging here. That's not mine. That's not my phrase. That's his phrase that he's, uh, he would use because uh, vlogging was just really starting to reach its peak when he started doing it. And he was actually one of the first YouTube families that, you know, just vlogged with their families. And so... You know, I thought, hey, that's cool, you know, vlogging and being able to, you know, just do that kind of stuff. I thought it was really neat. And he was one of my major YouTube inspirations. So, he's back. I'm not sure for how long. Hopefully, hopefully they're doing all right now. We shall see. And I'm going to continue to do my daily vlogs and just... We got houses to look at still, house hunting continues, and I'm going to be making my way into work, and I will talk with you guys later. Alright guys, just finished my six hour shift, six hour, no, 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 I worked till six, but it was a five hour shift, and I'm going to be getting gas in a little bit, but I wanted to share with you guys a... I guess this would be a drink of the day, but I helped a, uh, a customer find it. Uh, it's the Reset Vitamin Water. It's uh, the pineapple coconut flavor. So I'll be able to drink that in a little bit. And then product of the day. Really excited about this. Okay, so in Louisiana, it would, sorry, it's, it's big. Okay, it would have these uh, types of grapes that would come out and it would be like $10 for a little bag of them. Well, not a little bag. It was uh, like a medium-sized bag. Okay, but I got some cotton candy grapes. And these these are going for like $7-ish. And I think they might have a discount with the card. I'm not sure. But... <sighs> it's just... I'm going to enjoy... enjoy and they smell like cotton candy. They taste and smell like cotton candy. At least the ones in Louisiana did. So I'm hoping that, yeah, I'm, I'm getting some good smells. So uh, if you guys want to check out some cotton candy grapes, you can go to Kroger and check them out. They're like $7. And that might seem like a lot for grapes. But in Louisiana, they were about maybe you got half of this amount for like 10 So 
I'm gonna uh, enjoy those grapes and share them with the Tennessee family. And I will go ahead and try to make my way over there. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day.